Good morning, it's the 2nd of June 2010 and this is your Daily Outlook. ISM Manufacturing spares hope for Friday's payroll report. Markets were volatile yesterday as the session started with plenty of risk aversion across the board. Risk was shunned for a number of reasons. Initially, the euro was sold off on write-down fears by European banks, estimated to be as much as 195 billion euros. This combined with geopolitical tension in North Korea and weak PMI numbers in China caused a sell-off in all risk assets. The euro managed to make new lows at 121.10 and the yen saw significant risk-related purchasing. As the session went on, we saw the release of the ISM manufacturing report in the US, which beat expectations and also indicated a strong employment growth component, which spurred hope for Friday's non-fund payroll report. And subsequently, the euro dollar made a spectacular rally to 123.53 from the day's low. In Europe yesterday, we had various statements from ECB Council members. Neuer, for example, noted that the euro is actually trading at its 10-year average and is by no means oversold. ECB President Trichet also defended himself and the central bank by emphasising the ECB's bond purchasing programme is designed to stabilise the markets and not to help French banks get rid of their Greek bond holdings. From the financial calendar, we saw German retail sales weaken further by minus 3.1%. Eurozone PMI was unchanged and unemployment picked up to 10.1%. In Japan overnight, we saw the resignation of Prime Minister Hatoyama, which caused a sell-off in the Japanese yen, as fears over Japan's much-needed structural reforms will be even harder to deal with now, as the possibility of a Japanese political stalemate increase. Dollar yen price act yesterday was between 90.50 and 91.77. Currencies to watch out for, the euro dollar and dollar yen. The euro dollar pivot point is at 122.65, with a preference to enter into short positions at 121.45. The dollar yen pivot point is at 9090, with a preference to enter into long positions at 9095. Today's calendar of market movers Eurozone PPI for April expected at 0.7%, and US pending home sales for April expected at 5%. Now on to equity markets. US equities closed negative yesterday, with the SP500 down by 1.72%, and the Dow at minus 1.11%. The European bursts were mixed yesterday, with the FTSE at minus 0.48%. The DAX closing at 0.28% and the CAC down at minus 0.13%. The time of writing the Nikkei was at minus 1.12% and the Hang Seng at minus 0.45%. This has been your Daily Outlook. I'm Emma Andre from the Easy Forex Dealing Room. Have a good day. Not only have you found a great place for Forex news, you found a great place to trade it. Registration is easy. Just click join now. Membership has its unique benefits, such as the freeze rate, the trade simulator, the inside viewer, and personal dealers. Your personal account manager is waiting for you now.